Hey, welcome back. Now we're going to do uh, work with and do and draw the two point interior form. So I've got some thumbnail sketches here, and you can see how rough and creative you can be with uh, two point perspective just when you're trying to figure out what's the best viewpoint of what's the best scene. And so the scene that we're going to be doing for this project is going to be the uh, Han Solo Empire Strikes Back uh, carbon free scene. So we're going to set him up in an interior and actually have him going down into an, uh, a hole like he does in the movie here. So these are some of the thumbnail sketches. Um, sometimes I'll do them just to save paper. I'll do them uh, one way oriented and I'll turn them upside down and do them uh, another way to get lots of ideas on there. I think what I'll do is I'll do another lesson at some point in time where I just show you thumbnail sketching and rough sketching with with perspective and how you can do this really loose and really almost kind of sloppy but with a uh, purpose in mind to get quick ideas down on paper so that you can see them uh, for the first time and then clear clear them up. So what I do is take Really, I took this scene to this scene and then to this scene and got clearer each time to this one Right, and then I'm going to show you now the diagram that I'm going to go off of for this project. I'll put this to the side and we're going to go and relate back to uh, this project. So uh, it's a little bit lighter I'll draw it darker as we go through but we're going to have two-point interior structures coming out. Something kind of like the movie, won't be exact, so for you Star Wars uh, purists out there, don't, don't, uh, don't go too crazy, okay? So, because I'm not. Um, and then we'll have a platform where Han Solo will be standing. We'll have another wall here with some, uh, a little part of the stairs and a little one-point form in here. And then we're gonna have more figures, and I'm gonna show you how to reference them too, uh, as well. So, that's what's coming up. So let's go ahead and get started. I'll set this over to the side where I can see it and refer back to it. And if I need to show you again, we'll certainly show you that. Okay, so the first thing that we're gonna do, remember when we're gonna be in two point, and I'm gonna be using the same materials, technical pen, see-through rulers, I'm going to use the blue and red red pencil here, which I'm going to sharpen up as I talk. Is um, It's going to get more complex since we're going to be uh, in two point. And so we'll take it slow, try to get through this maybe, yeah, maybe in an hour or so. I think we can get through it. And then uh, we will, I will, once we're done with this particular part of the project, then I'll scan it and put it in the Cintiq. For those of you that don't have a Cintiq, uh, or an application of that nature, tracing paper is just just as good. And you can you can use multiple layers of tracing paper for different layers uh, that you have. Okay, so let's go ahead and get get started. So the first thing I'm going to do is establish a um, horizon line, and I do want you to measure this. We're going to put this uh, 11 inches uh, up. Let's see. I have it from top to bottom. So at 11 inches, looks like it's going to be from the bottom. Okay, so from the very bottom corner of your paper, measure 11 inches up and put a little mark there. You can do it on both sides of your paper, here and here, 11, 11. And I wanted to do that to make sure I have the proper alignment for the horizon line to get a, a pretty close approximation to what I want from my um, diagram that I did, my illustration, so we can get close to it. Sometimes they're not exact, and that's totally okay. All right, so I'm going to be drawing darker for this lesson so it shows up. You can draw much lighter. I, I recommend that you draw very, very light. I've got to draw darker so we can see this show up, so you can see it clearly. Okay? All right, so there is our horizon line. I'll label that HL, which is also our eye level. We're going to have a left vanishing point on the edge, an LVP. We'll have a right vanishing point here on the edge, okay, RVP here and here. We'll have a center of vision, so we're 24 inches across. Half of that will be 12. You should know that, right? Right there, and then I'll take my center of vision all the way up and all the way down, so we'll have that as our our guide. If we need a one point, 
we'll have the one point come out of our center of vision there, right? And through there, because we're going to stick mostly, if not exclusively, the two point. We'll do one, um, one point form, and we'll go from there. Okay, so the first thing that we're going to do, we're going to build up these long, nice uh, slats coming up from the vanishing points, these structures here in these structures here, and we're going to build these sort of diagonal kind of electrical gadgets, theatri theatrical accoutrements, if you will, or, or just mechanical stuffs. Okay? All right, so coming from the left vanishing point, we're going to come out to maybe about, I don't know, maybe about right here, just all the way out the picture plane. So that's the first thing I'll draw, is just a construction line here. Okay, it's really going to be the side plane of a wall. And then the next one I'm going to draw about right here. You can approximate yours to mine best you can. You can slow me down if I go too fast later on, maybe here to here. Okay, and all the way out the picture plane to there. We're good to go there. Okay, then I'm going to make an underneath thickness for this structure where soldiers, stormtroopers could walk. Um, on under, well, it'd be, it would be the floor, actually. We'd be, we'd be underneath it. So about this thickness looks pretty good. Coming all the way through and out the picture plane. So there's no major measurement there. It's just all design and eyeballing, okay? Now let's do the same thing on the other side. So we're gonna make it where one goes underneath the other. So I'm on this side now. We just drew this. See how we'll make a little, opening and we can put a stormtrooper there for guarding or whatever and we can do the same thing over here so we're going to make this one go underneath this one a little bit so it overlaps just for visual effect so let's do that now so from the right vanishing point let's come out and what i do i'm just working from my diagram i'm just looking at it and visually trying to align it as best i can there's no measuring here it's going to be a, very much a creative tool to use for perspective. And that's how most of us artists and designers use it for here. And let's come out, let's bring our bottom wall down here. Okay, and let's bring that bottom thickness now, we'll make it a little bit thinner than the other one, maybe about right in through here, looks pretty good. Okay, there we go, so that overlaps. Okay, it should show up on the camera decently well. I better make sure I draw dark enough in through there. Okay, so we have that. Now, we're going to be bringing out those angular poles. We want to do that next. And so what I'm going to do from the left vanishing point, project a line all the way across a construction line here, and then I'll keep going. And that's where those poles will meet the ground. There, and I'll crisscross it over, okay? And I'll make this one, let's see, maybe a little flatter in through here maybe so they crisscross over a little bit to there so we'll be we'll be good there okay so they're gonna start from the left vanishing point I'm just gonna kinda pick a point in the middle of these so this is where they're gonna come out of the top of here okay and all the way across I'm gonna have to draw I have to draw a little lighter in through here in through there okay and we'll do the same thing I'll just pick a center point, what looks, which looks good, right in through there and draw, draw across two as well. So there we go. Okay. All right. Now I'm going to do, what I'm going to do is we're going to place, okay, verticals to start with. So I know these are angled, but we're going to build off this verticality first. And so we're going to come up. I'm just going to place random, try to make them look like they're, they're roughly in the same position. There's a way to get this later on, but I don't really care to show you. We'll just line it up visually, and we're gonna run them all the way across, both from the left structure and also the right structure as well, okay? So that bottom line's important too. That's where we end. So I'm gonna start maybe here and sketch out. This seems plenty. So kind of from the center, it's hard to see. I know there, we can start here. Nice vertical. So maybe there, and I'll start to use my ruler, my see-through ruler there, and then I'll maybe start another one there, okay, and another one. And so I'm just starting to widen them out as we get further away from us. So there, maybe to there, OK? 
Okay. You have that. You can see that. And it would come on out maybe to there. So that's where they hook up in the center underneath here. There and down. So I'm touching this line. So we come across. Another one could be maybe, if it gets even wider, maybe there. And then just random eyeballing it, trying to make the perspective feel correct here. Okay, and then one more might come out of and go off the drawing board. So I have this space, maybe one more would come up and out and it would, we could push it, how about right here? Okay, like so, okay. All right, so what's really gonna happen now, maybe I can do these in red a little bit, is I'll pick one here and see what kind of angle I like. Maybe here, one in the middle, maybe kind of like this. I'll just sketch it in red. And then it's gonna wind up back down to our point there, so that's why we had our vertical, kind of like so. So I'm just gonna make a red line here and a red line there, so you can see it right there and there, okay? And that's the angle I want, that center point there, and that I can go from that point back to the left finishing point, draw a line all the way through, keep on going, and that's where I can align up all those poles to that point. So also in perspective, you notice how I'm building this composition back to forward. Background, middle ground, and then forward. You don't always have to do that, but it certainly helps. So let me set in this one, and I'll show you. So it's gonna come out like a series of tubes here, and then downward to that edge, to where it bevels or angles, and I'll make a cylinder edge there, and then we'll come all the way back down to the floor. Okay, so if it's too fast, stop me and draw until you get the understanding and we'll put them down on the floor. Now we're gonna do all of them that way. And so for this angle, I'll just guesstimate. Just make your best guess. Make it look as good as you can. Now there's a way to plot those out. I don't really care to take the time to show you right now since we're in simple form. We can use our visual judgment and just draw and understand perspective from what we need that way too. Most of what you'll need to know as an artist you can get in simple form, but I think that if you want to be a superior artist, you'll go deeper into the specifics of perspective. So there we go, there's our next one, right? And so we can keep going down until they diminish further. So I'll just take that angle, guesstimate, I can freehand sketch it, again, get all these in here, right? To here, make them look relatively equal to there, right? And on down the line till the last one. And again, that middle structure line helps us judge what we need from our ending point. So let me sharpen my pencil a little bit. I'll let you catch up if you need to. Okay, there we go. And I'll probably immediately break it. That's what happens. All right, so we'll come down here. I'll hold that together, wrap that in. We're going through our center point there. And then remember, we're attaching it to the ceiling of that walkway. So we can look underneath where it attaches. Of course, these get a little bit bigger as they come up and they diminish as they go further away. But we're, we're getting to see underneath all of this here, there. We'll come through, come through there. It's kind of like just a, an angle at this point there. And I'll just make, I knew I'd break it there. And I'll just freehand that in, freehand that in. And it gets so small that we can just make that look like it was drawn in. Okay, so keep going. I'm gonna resharpen again my pencil. Got a couple of more to do here. So we've got it here so we can bring this angle over. You can freehand it. Does it look pretty good? You could bring that angle over for help. That looks pretty good there. Stop where it meets that construction line and then go back to there. This one we won't see. See how it goes up and out? I can imagine. I can draw through my drawing board. It's good to show you the entire drawing board sometimes. Um, it's not as pretty to look at in film, but that's not what we're after. Where this connects up through here and over and out it would connect up over here somewhere, probably about right there, right? And then come on down 
in that angle, and that's what we're after now is here. So I'll draw the curve of that ellipse. I'll go back to where it attaches to the ceiling there and there. Draw those a little bit bigger. That attaches so we won't see that ending opening. And this comes down to the floor. Okay, make it attach to the floor here. So I'm taking the scene from Han Solo's carbonizing where they, uh, Vader and Boba Fett, they test him out much to Boba Fett's consternation. And they test him out to see if he can make it through the carbon freezing so they can do Luke Skywalker next. So this probably feels like too much of an angle compared to the other one. So I'm gonna maybe make it more like this, like so. And I'll just make a thick line. So I'm just guesstimating where they would hook up and this would go in through kind of like maybe that down through. And so I took the scene and tried to adapt it for what I wanted to do with perspective, not make it too complex. You can always go back and add complexity. This is not, not about lots of detail. We can get there later on. You can go crazy with detail, and I respect that and hope you do as you get more comfortable. So I'll bring this down, and we'll diminish this right into the floor as it steps and would work in through. There. All right. So we've got that side in. Okay. So we're we have a nice walkway in through here, and that's moving over all the way through. Okay. And this one goes up underneath. And now let's do the same thing, and let's make straight lines. Do we need a center line? Now we have our center line, and we have a place where it's going to rest, kind of like this one. This one can go in different directions, but we're going to play off that height. And so I'm going to draw. Start from about here up there, then another one up to the center line until you kind of start to see it from this direction there, and maybe another one there, and then from this point, I guess a little bit there, then we'll come out further to what looks like center there. Now we can really see them, so we can come out further to there, okay, and then it'd be kind of cool if they, they cross a little bit, maybe they may not with the angle here to the center line, and then one more. We'll actually make it right on the center line too, as well, right up in through there. That might look might look pretty cool. So let's actually start with that one. So here's the. We better get our angle that we want. We could use that. We could kind of just get a center for it, or I could just sketch one out and get a feel for it too. Here, maybe we'll do it. So the center is in through here. This might come over and cross over. That might look cool there, even though that's still kind of behind. Then we'll come over our center here, and this would stand here. So you're with me here to there. That's where we're shooting for, right? To there, okay? So from this point, okay, back to our right finishing point, that's going to give us our angles of that. Those might look a little bit longer than the other ones. Eh, I'll keep it. Why not? You can adjust yours once you get the hang of it right in through there. All right, so let's build this one down. We don't see part of that coming down. And then over to here at that angle. There we go. And we'll bring that in. There we go. Like so. Curve that through. It's a little thick, but we'll get it. And curve that back over. And this goes down to the ground right in through, meets up right there. Hopefully my head's not too much in the way. Get my head out of the way, right through there. Okay, we have our first one right here. Okay, so let's get our next one, which is right here. So we'll kind of mimic this angle from this point right here. We'll go down, looks pretty good there, and then point, and then through here. Okay, let's do all of them first. So here, okay. There's our bend, bend back to the ground. Let's do the next one here, bend back to the ground. Let's do the next one here, bend back to the ground. And here, see through, bend back to the ground. Here, bend back to the ground. Here, back over. And you get the idea. Now we can put our poles in. So we can put our curve in through here. We see it emerge about right through there as it comes through. And then we'll line up our angles there 
And there you can see it. And then we'll do the same thing over here. Just simple two-point perspective using creative compositional tools to create an environment from an already established scene, but yet giving a different view and take on it. And I like the way these kind of overlap. Cool. That's kind of cool too. You can change. If you're doing a painting, you could do different colors through there. They could blend and mix with light. So this comes over here and downwards. Downwards. This turns in as a cylinder. And over. And over to here. And we'll catch up through there. Same thing now through here. Hopefully my head's way out of the way. Keep my big ugly bald head. Through there, and through there, okay, and then we'll latch over to there, and you just keep on down. And it gets so small that we can just start to draw simple lines through, through here, connect over, and this is more of a V, more of a V here, and there. Okay, so we have that. All right, so now we have more of our background in through there. So we established those corridors or walkways. Let's establish now, to give it a little bit more three-dimensionality, let's establish this little structure and this little two-point structure where we're cutting out a little bit so we can see inside a little bit of the, um, the walkway. And you could do more of those uh, in your composition if you want. Pretty easy to do. So all we need to do is decide how thick we want and where we want it. I'm going to put it about right here. And so from this point, we'll bring a vertical down, nice and true and vertical, right to there. Okay, and I'll make the thickness here, and we'll bring down another vertical, nice and true and vertical, right there. Okay, and I'll overlap, or I'll over uh, outline, excuse me, this a little darker so we can see that. Okay, so now our thickness is through here, so we can go back to our right vanishing point since that's going to be cut out. So we're cutting that out away, right in through here and all the way back and through there, which I like, okay? And then we can bring, I'll actually bring this kind of bottom so we can see it, make it look more three-dimensional from the right vanishing point here, from the right vanishing point up and through, and through there. And there we go. And we might make a little thickness here, like a little extra wall to keep them from falling over right in through there. And then later on we can jazz it up and make that even more spectacular looking with all kinds of detail. And that'll be up to you. So what I'll do is I'll diminish this line a little bit with my eraser. You can still see it, which I want you to see, but it's a little bit lighter. You can do that. Let's do one over here. Let's do the same thing over here. This is where a stormtrooper, somebody could be standing up there overlooking the scene that we're doing. So we'll do it on the other side. Let's do it here. Let's put one, a nice vertical here, true and vertical, there. We'll relate our thickness, we'll make it thinner so it looks like it's more diminished. And about right there. Don't worry about that line, I'm not thinking about anything about that line coming through. And I'll just darken this in a little bit. So you can see that coming through there. And over, miss that a little bit, there and there. Okay, so from this thickness point, We'll go back to the left vanishing point. Okay. Right in through there. Okay, there we go. And we'll bring these two points over to make it feel like there's a even more of a structured bottom to it there. And that will just happen to line up there. There, and I'll make this darker, and then we'll put a little height on it about right there. And that'll go back to the right vanishing point. And you'll get the idea pretty quickly. So now somebody could be standing up there too as well. We will. We'll put some figures uh, in the second part of this project up through there. Okay. All right. So we've got that working now. Okay. So what's next? Let's go back and look at our diagram and see what we can put on next. I think the, the next way to build this up is to build this retaining kind of wall. So we're going to have this blocky wall, and we're going to have stairs coming through. And this is where Vader and Boba Fett will both be sitting uh, on top of here. And so that we can have some kind of barrier to, to make this scene more scrunched 
and we'll put more figures through here. Okay, so we'll do that next. And of course, this is Solo's platform, the opening where he'll go down, and then we'll put another structure, one point actually, over, over there. So I think we can get through that relatively quicker, quicker. All right, so we have that. So let's go to our next part. So I'm gonna set the, the movement long ways this way. And so we're gonna put a line a vertical line that's going to break our horizon line. Remember our horizon line, that straight line, horizontal, right in through there. So I'm going to put it about right, let's see how high did I make that, about right in through here. So I'm just going to put a, a reference dot right there. So I have to go back and redraw my drawing. Okay, you guys don't for the first time. All right, so this is where my vertical is going to start downward. So we're going to put it down further beyond the horizon line downward to about right. So I'm going to overdraw a little bit. Bear with me here. And I think it looks pretty good about right there. I'll put a dot right in through there. Okay. Now I'm going to diminish. Go back to the left vanishing point here. Watch with me there. Go back to the left vanishing point right there. Okay. I'm going to cut off the depth of our box about right here looks like what I did. I want it nice and thick so people could stand up and through there. So now I'm going to go up vertically where it meets the convergence line. Right there I'm going to stop. I'll pull the camera in so you can see it better right in through nice and vertical. Now I'm going to take my ruler and I'm going to diminish inside here a little bit so you can see that plane. You'll still be able to see it but I want to diminish a little bit so you can see it. Okay. Now, if I was doing this drawing for myself, I'd be drawing super light and then build up dark, but I want you to see it there, okay? Let me go darker here. So I have to little, do a little bit of a dance for the camera, if you will, in my audience, and that's okay. That's what I'm here for. I'm here to make artists better, stronger. Okay, so now we need to go back from these two points of our retaining wall all the way back to the right vanishing point. I draw all the way through there because we need a long line. So let's go all the way back, line it up, get a good line going. Since I have a shorter router, I can line this up. That looks pretty good. I can go down just a little bit. And that should give me the diminishment that I want. So convergence line converging all the way through. This is the top, so I'll make it darker. I'll make it real, whoops, real dark so you can see it. Maybe too dark, okay? So let me sharpen again. Let you catch up again. I'm not even going to edit it out. I think it's kind of funny. There we go. So I always have a good laugh at my students at the university when they draw too dark because I, I always did too. And as a student, I broke a lot of pencils and I still do. So we have a good laugh. All right, so here's our retaining wall line going back to our right vanishing point. It's a little bit off there, but it's okay. I'm going to leave it, diminish it down, because it doesn't matter after there. All right. Nice and strong, so you can see that. Now I'll go back to the right vanishing point with the bottom. So I'll do a double, double ruler here, see how I'm doing. I'm right on. Good job there. Okay, so we'll go in, and let's see how far I want to make it. Okay, so I think I want to make it maybe about, I'll put a dot I'm going to tell you where, right there, that's where I'm going to stop and draw vertical up, right there, okay? All right, right in through there. Now, <clears throat> visually what's going to happen, if I drew this back line, here's what it's going to look like. I'll draw it in red, or I'll show you. It's going to come through like that. See how we're going to have some of these? Uh, that would be built, they would kind of be built, either built into that structure or maybe they could stop up here and through. These won't because this is the thickness of this structure all the way through here. That's important to see. This one would come through. So I would, I would pretend that wherever it touches up here, maybe underneath here, it would stop. And so when we walk up, we're going to build some stairs. When we walk up, it would be on the platform, but out of the way a little bit. So I did want you to see that. I think that's important. Maybe I should just draw it in in red so you will see it in here. So if it bothers you, you would, you'd have to alter your, uh, your composition, but I'm not gonna, it doesn't bother me. 
one iota. So right in through here. So that's in inside there. Okay, so I'm going to erase a little bit and diminish the darkness so you can see this a little further, a little bit better. You'll still see the lines, but it'll be a little bit lighter. I'm using a kneaded eraser and the pencil tip is light enough where it doesn't smear too much. But now we can see through this a little bit better, so I'm going to take these down. We can still see them but we'll take them down a little bit so you can you can see through a little bit. All right, so I hope you understood what I was talking about there. That was a little bit that got raw there. Running through there, and then running through there and coming across. So that's where that platform would be. That's, that's important to see. And this would end about in perspective, about right in through there. Okay, in our horizon line, remember, is right here so we're still above it now i want to build a little staircase in through here don't get scared it won't be bad i promise so i'm going to continue on and continue this out a little further this line here okay and through there and i'm going to give this kind of just a a triangular feel for now just to show you kind of like a wedge but we're going to build up to it a little bit in through there so we're going to build up risers a little bit and I'm just going to guesstimate. I've got, let's see, one, oh, about four. So I'm going to build a thickness from here. Okay, I'm going to start here and I'm going to come down. Okay, so when I come down, and I'm going to try to match it up here so it all works together. We'll just see how it works out. Now, that, so that's not in perspective. That's just a vertical line going through. Now I'll go back to my right vanishing point as we're diminishing to the right. I'll just strike a line, draw through a little bit, and then I'll come down. I want that length will be about the same, like so. And we'll come down to there, and then we'll go through, make another line to the right vanishing point, right to there. We'll come down, okay, that riser there. We'll just see how far we get until we get to the bottom. Draw a line through here down, okay, strike a line down through here through here and I'm just gonna make this go all the way down I think that'll be okay right in through there there we go so that'll be our stairs I can make that a little bit longer actually and make this one a little bit shorter so we can see that and then we can have a nice kind of equal even clear stairwell there we go perfect all right so I'm gonna come over here and erase just a little bit I'll take my white eraser and erase this off just a little so we can clean this up a little bit so you can see that through there we go <coughs> right my trusty brush over in through here all right so there we go so now I've got and remember we're doing a sketch so we don't have to be ultra perfect if it was a real technical drawing like I had in art school whoo we would be counted off but I'm fine with that as we're doing a diagram illustration we're fine there now these points you can go back to the left vanishing point would you see through them they're high enough to where you were below the horizon line technically they're just so slight that you won't even be able to see them so we're good there all right so let's go on to and darken in this bottom wall so we can see this further so I'm going to take this for me I'm going to darken this in so you can see it and through there and I'm going to take this line now and I'm going to diminish it a little bit so it doesn't disturb us it can get in our way so we'll diminish this down a little bit we'll still be able you'll still be able to see it but it will diminish enough to where it will get out of our way a little bit through here and through here there we go so we can still see our work and see what we're doing through there. All right, so we've got now our structures in through here. Okay, so the next thing I want to set in is I want to set in now the platform, Solo's platform that he's going to be sitting in. So we're going to build something like a square in our drawing. You'll see it here. So I'm going to use the center line. Here's our center line is one of our crossing X areas and I'll show you how to do that. I'm just going to play off the spatial distance between here and here and start to set our square back in as well. Okay, so we can do that. 
So I might set this off, oh, just visually from our diagram. And let's set it off maybe here to, here looks pretty good. All right, so now from the left finishing point, I'll draw a convergence line through. I'll just go to about right there and out further here, like so. And I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to set it back here to maybe right, oh, I don't know, here feels pretty good. Right in through there, I'll put a dot right there where you can really see it. See it show up, okay? And that's where I'll go back to the left vanishing point again. Draw to about right there. And then from the right vanishing point, we'll go through this point and out. Okay, we'll line up. Gonna come out here, okay, and come on out. We need to go further this direction. Line up here, okay? So these two line up. And then we'll do the same from this point back to the right vanishing point to finish it out over through here. Okay, so we have that, so we line up, draw through just a little bit, and there we have our platform top. Now we're going to give it a little bit of a thickness here, and, and make it darker there so you can really start to see it. There we go. All right. Here and there. Okay, so I'm going to put now a little, may raise it up a little bit at angles, and I'm just going to guesstimate and draw, sketch out these angles, and that's just going to come straight down and through. And then we're going to draw the thickness of that. Then we're going to put our crossing X's, find a spot to put a nice oval, and this is the spot where he's actually going to go down and into the carbon free. So we're actually going to have him stand at 5'9", and then drop him about a foot and a half or so into the carbon free. So it's as he, the scene is as he's going down a little bit. All right, so let's sketch out a little bit of an angle. So I might, instead of going straight across, maybe like that, looks pretty good. And I'll maybe make it about that thickness. I'll guess how thick that would be out here to just to get it in the composition. So about right there. I'll put a dot where I want it, and let's see how I do. So from the right vanishing point, see how it's just a guessing game? And see, that's gonna get thick. So I wanna make it a little bit shorter maybe about right there to get it back in the paper so you can see it. So maybe about right there. So a little bit shorter. Yours could be fine if it fits in all the way. If it doesn't, that's okay too. I just want it to make it fit so you can see it. So from the right vanishing point, strike a convergence line here to here where it meets this line or center vision actually, right in through there. And then from this point back to the, the uh, left vanishing point running through here. We'll draw through. And then what I'll do here is instead of having an angle come all the way through, we'll just guesstimate based off that. Just a visual problem. I don't care if it's right or it's wrong, it's all visual. That's what you need to realize is that you use perspective as a tool and then you use your creative devices when you don't have to be. It doesn't have to be the perfect Whatever degree angle that is, it doesn't matter to me. I don't care. Um, it doesn't have to be completely perfect. I'll just tighten up that line a little bit so you can see it. Okay, so now we have our platform. All right, so mine's a little bit thinner here than our diagram, which is fine too as well. All right, so let's find our crossing X's. We have one done that's vertical. So I've put that on that line and then we'll cross over here, right? Here's our center. And then from here, we can go to the left vanishing point. Broke my pencil again. Okay, so that means you get to catch up again. So, I'll slow it down. It means you'll catch up. It's probably a good thing so you can catch up. It'll slow me down. I'm going pretty fast. Okay, <laughs> here's our center. There's our center there. So from here, back to the left vanishing point, line it up, then go all the way through just to here is what you really need to there. That's what we need. Do the same thing for the right, all the way through to there. Just what you need there and there. There we go. All right, and so that gives us a, the, the, really the space for the oval we want to draw. We want to touch here in here and come all the way over. You can actually plot these lines out too. You can even make another if you want to do it like this. You could come across here 
in here to help. And that's kind of a cool look just as it is. This diagonal sort of it's really a square right through there. That could help too. But we're just coming through and way over and then curving around and theoretically they just touch. They're supposed to touch at a certain point on every one in perspective. But I just draw an oval through through here. And that gives you this perspective to help you get that more convincingly laid in. Okay. I just freehand sketch it. I like to draw the looser, the better I get. It's, it's ironic. The tighter I get, the, the less accurate I get, too, as well. So we have our oval in through here, and then we need another opening where he's going to be. So I might put him, put it here, here, and here, and then over a little bit in perspective. This is probably the hardest part of the entire drawing, right in through there, right? And then we'll put a thickness in, maybe, right in through there and I'll tighten up that later and we'll push on. Alright so that's where Solo is going to actually go right on in. He'll be sitting, he'll be standing on the platform. I will start to project him later in the Cintiq here at 5'9 and I'll, I'll probably get his scale set in but we're going to dip him down about a foot and so and so he'll disappear into this cavern of where they have the carbon freeze mechanisms going. All right. Okay, so we have only one more uh, structure left to put in before we move on to our uh, our figures. And we're going to put in, if you can see it on camera, we're going to put in this, this little figure in through here. What do you notice about it? It's a little bit different than the others. It's actually a one-point form. So I think we'll put in a one-point form, and we actually might put in another down area to go into where they actually dip down. Maybe we'll see how much time we have left and get through this. So we're going to put this one point boxy form platform over there just as a device to put in. And we're, get, and we're going to make it one point because we can, number one, and number two because it's a little bit different than the two point just to have some variety. So we'll put it over here. Let's see, I think I'll put down, oh, let's see, the, the top of it, maybe it's going to overlap that a little bit, so we'll put it right, maybe back a little bit, and through here, maybe, okay, all right, so we'll have it here, okay, and we'll keep it in the ground plane, and through here, so we'll bring up the vertical for its height here. Looks pretty good. I right didn't do there. And we'll bring that over. Okay. And we'll end it here. All right. Kind of like that. So maybe that's a concrete pillar with that that comes in and meets at the top and it holds holds it together somehow. We'll see. And so now we're going to go back to our uh, center of vision, our one point vanishing point, which is right there. There's our one point right there. So we'll use that to project our depth. Go back to vanishing point. I'll mark through a little bit. I'll overdraw a little bit here and here through there. I'll do the same thing over and through there like so. And if I did this thick enough that might, that would show you how it's coming through and I'd need to do it. No, it's going to miss. It looks like it would miss. Okay, cool. That would miss too. So I can make it about this thick right in through there. So I'll bring a nice horizontal line over that's why it's important to draw through, see through, when you need it to. This would go up here, all right, like so. I'm not crazy how that abuts, but I can live with it. Right in through there. And this horizontally comes right on over to there, all right. So we have another one point form, and we could put some figures on top of that uh, as well. Okay. All right. So we're almost there. Now let's put a little let's put a little device over through here, something over and through here where it's actually another kind of a tunnel going through, kind of like this, but it's but it's more square. This is an oval, right, coming through. So let's do that. So we'll put it. I'll kind of sketch it out so you see it. I might put it. Maybe I'll put it against this close to it, or maybe that might make it too busy, I don't know. We'll see. Here and here. So I'm going to use, see how I just freehand sketch that out? I'll come from this corner in this area outward. And I'll put a dot there. I'm going to go back to my left vanishing point, get all the way over 
to there, and I'm going to end it about right there. There we go, and that'll be my depth, and I'll go back to my left vanishing point right there. There we go, and then there's my square, and then for depth, to show it goes down and in, I could just draw a vertical. So this might be some kind of exhaust dropout, maybe to there, and then go to the right from the right vanishing point to this corner, back over, and then from this point go to the left vanishing point right in through there. There we go. This might be some kind of exhaust. You could even we could even put one over here. Like for instance, watch this. I can just take from the right vanishing point and we'll just draw a series of thicker lines and this might like a grill, like an exhaust grill. Where steam would come out. There's a lot of steam in these scenes just for visual effect and to hide stuff. I'm sure from the camera we just keep drawing across. We'll just do it this way. And these can be like uh, grills, and I'm just sketching. You can start to go quick. There, and we've got it. So there's there's one there, and then maybe we could put one where my hand is. We'll put one more. Since we're getting really to the edge of distortion, the cone, our cone is probably in through here. So station points down 30 and 30. We're probably in here before we get to lots of distortion. So it's cool if it comes out. We'll let this one come out to here. I'll put it over here. And so from the left vanishing, or excuse me, from the right vanishing point over, I'll kind of strike a mark. See how sketchy I start to get? And just let it happen and go quick. So maybe right here, puts close to the, close to the platform, over to the left vanishing point, and maybe it ends here. So I can just darken this up to there and there, and to there. That's where I want to end it. Go to here, and this goes back to the right vanishing point. I'll kind of just guesstimate, get it close. Here we go. That's it, to there, to there, to there. And then we'll bring down a depth, maybe nice and true vertical here, and then back to the left vanishing point there, and over, back to the right vanishing point, to there and through, and there we go. We've got another little steam platform and I'll make these go back to the left finishing point because it's just more convenient. Here. And I'm just lining and drawing a nice thicker line there. There through, there through. There and through. There and through. There and through. There and through. And one more should do it. There we go. And you could put these all over and through there as well. Okay. So all right, so let me show you one more thing in our diagram. What we're going to do next, and I'll do it in the Cintiq, and we'll do it in layers. So there we go. We've got what we wanted through here. Now, I'm probably going to tighten up the border here a little bit later on, but I don't think I'll do it now because we want to show our, our uh, right and left vanishing points. Uh, notice this orange line or this red line in through here. That's where we're going to put Han Solo at about 5'9", and we're going to project his height down and then over to help get us uh, these heights. We're going to put Darth Vader up here. We're going to put Boba Fett on this little walkway where they came over and walked up to see the action. Chewbacca, Leia, uh, a couple of stormtroopers, uh, uh, Lando Calrissian and his bot helper, I forget, with the little headgear thing, and then uh, some more stormtroopers here and up and through there. And then we'll reference them. We'll do the same thing we did with one point, and we can move them across. Remember, when you're just moving left or right or up or down, the scale doesn't change. But when you're moving into the picture plane or out of the picture plane to control depth, you need a reference point. And we can do that with a simple reference vanishing point. It makes it really really easy and, and doable and once you get one figure and scale how you want it to your composition it's very unscientific isn't it um, there's, a, there's another way you can do it with, with measuring but this is so much easier and so much better and just a lot more fun then we can move figures around pretty quickly and so we can you can very quickly get good visual feeling from uh, perspective drawing without having to be so crazy measured as well okay so there you go. I think I'll diminish this inside here a little bit so we can see through that a little bit comfortably and more easily. All right, so there you have it. So there's our interior setup for our carbon 
freeze for a solo and now we'll go on and put our figures in there and tighten this up a little bit and see how we do there okay so i'm going to tighten some of this drawing in so when we come back i'll have this drawing tightened up a little bit cleaner a little just a little bit and then um, we can again put those put those figures in and see how we do and if you don't have a cintiq which you, a lot of you don't i like to do it just because it's something different to to utilize you can use tracing paper which is just just as good totally okay all right see you then see ya bye bye